Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. Today we're going to be talking about Girisaya's remake of Arjun Reddy named Aditya Varma. Now Arjun Reddy and its Hindi remake Kabir Singh were both very very controversial films. Some people like me were sympathetic to the narrative. We felt it was about a flawed self-absorbed male. But there were others who said that it was a toxic male narrative. Why I'm saying this right at the top of the review is that this is almost exactly the same movie. So it is equally going to be polarizing and controversial. Now, Aditya Varma is a perfectly competent remake from a film point of view, but there is something missing and it is not just the looming shadow of Vijay Devarakonda. Of course, if you've not seen either Arjun Reddy or Kabir Singh, you will not know the story, so this film will play out like a very fresh experience for you. Now for the story, Dhruv Vikram plays a doctor named Aditya and while in medical college, he falls for this girl named Meera played by Banita Sandhu. After a while, they part and that's when he begins his descent into drugs and booze. Now occasionally the narrative pulls out and gives us other points of view. The supporting cast is very good, especially Anbudasan as Aditya's friend. But otherwise, Aditya is so self-absorbed and so filled with self-pity that we see only what he sees. We don't even see what happens to Meera after they part. We see only his point of view and this is the conceit that drives the movie. So the narrative itself shrinks to accommodate only only Aditya's point of view. Now you can see this even the background score by Radhan when Aditya is at peace that is when he is with Meera there is literally no background score you just hear the waves of the sea but when she parts from him then the electric guitar starts wailing because that's when he's filled with angst. In fact the entire second half of the movie when Meera is away from him that's when the background score becomes more because the first half she is with him there's practically no score at all because he's at peace. Like Arjun Reddy this is a very beautifully crafted film. The director allows the frames to breathe and Ravi K. Chanan underplays it by choosing a palette of very natural colors, very neutral colors and Vivek Harshan's editing rhythms are wonderful. They are so dynamic for this kind of story and yet for some of us who've seen the earlier versions, Aditya Varma is at a distance and it's not just because we've seen the earlier versions and we know the story of what's happening. It's not just the familiarity factor. It's also because of the chemistry between the stars which is non-existent. Banita Sandhu is extremely ill at if you've seen Shalini Pandey play the role in Arjun Reddy, you'll know what I mean. Dhruv is far better. He has a very, very confident screen presence and he's very good with the attitude part, which is a big part of Aditya Varma. But when it comes to the pain, the suffering, I was constantly reminded of Vijay Devrakonda, who simply aced the zone. I also think that the 20 odd minutes that have been lopped off this film could have been actually restored because they take off the emotional rhythms of the film. I especially miss the scene where Arjun Reddy humiliates his best friend because that lets us know the kind of man he's actually allowed himself to become. This is a grand wallow through a very flawed man's psyche and I think it deserves that grand running time. But flaws and all, in both the man and the movie, I was never bored. Aditya Varma may not be a particularly inspired remake, but it certainly kept me invested throughout. So that's it for Aditya Varma. The full review is up on the Film Companion website. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies.